I want to share with all the fellow YouTubers and content creators that review TVs and monitors a very simple way to test and communicate how good is the motion clarity of any display because these companies are creating technologies to reduce the motion blur so we don't have to necessarily be limited to the refresh rate of that sample and whole display and the grade to grade the responsiveness of the pixels. So all you have to do to know exactly how good is the motion clarity is open this UFO test and change the speed of the test until it looks perfectly clear. It's that simple, okay? So on a 120 hertz sample and hold display, you change the speed of the UFO test to 120 pixels per second, and that should look perfectly clear. So what is considered perfectly clear? One pixel of motion blur. What that means is half a pixel at the trailing edge and half a pixel of motion blur at the leading edge. It just looks perfect at a normal viewing distance. That's what it means. And all you have to do is focus in the alien eyes. You should be able to see the alien, the pupils of the alien perfectly clear. So now to do this test, make sure that you have 100% scaling and no zoom on the browser. Okay, 100% zoom on the browser, 100% scaling. Now, that is as a sample and hold display. But when we use some of these techniques, like on LG, we have true motion, we have on Samsung motion rate and Sony motion flow, XR, TCL, we have natural motion, Visio, dynamic motion rate. All these fancy words, they might be a combination between motion interpolation, you know, blinking, PWM, backlight strobing, black frame insertion, whatever they are doing to reduce the persistence or to add more frames. That's what it is. We need to test and see if we can go beyond the refresh rate of the display. And in some cases, we can. I own an LG C1 OLED and OLED Motion Pro High improves the motion clarity based on my testing in more than double so it more than doubles the motion clarity so with my LG C1 at 120 FPS 120 Hertz with OLED Motion Pro High I can change the speed of the test to 360 pixels per second and it still looks perfectly clear it's amazing actually it doesn't look completely perfect but almost there so I, based on my testing, it is like 312 FPS. But you get the idea. This is a very simple way to know and to compare the motion clarity between different TV technologies. Because here we can see, I'm going to share with you this uh, Art Teams article. Here you can see some of these companies, they claim 4x motion clarity improvement okay so what that means is that they are reducing the persistence to 25 percent okay so they are reducing the pixel visibility time to 25 percent and this is something that needs to be tested okay do we see artifacts do we see a crosstalk trailing artifacts that look ugly in motion how good is it so of course there is always a component that is subjective so we can talk about the number. The number is very simple. I can clearly see the UFO test at 240 pixels per second. That is the equivalent. So what we can communicate to people is, okay, this is a 120 hertz display, but because it has this you know, backlight strobing or blinking technique, this technology, we can say the name of the technology, because it has that technology, it actually looks like a 240 hertz sample and hold display so gamers are very familiar with you know frame rate so many many people are going to be able to understand what that means okay so you look okay so i have 120 fps but when i move the camera it actually looks like if i'm playing at 240 frames per second okay so at least 
include that information on the reviews because it is something that it is lacking unfortunately I have no idea right now how good are all these techniques because it is difficult to find this information on a review okay sometimes we see a subjective evaluation of oh it's good the motion is good or it's bad that's not enough we need to go a little bit beyond that and it's very simple we don't have to understand the blur busters law and try to explain that to people I know that's a lot <laughs> I've been trying to explain that for many many videos and when I started I didn't understand it <laughs> it's not easy I made like four videos without fully understanding the blur busters law <laughs> and the chief <laughs> was explaining it to me in the comments so I could actually at the end communicate it uh, correctly because it's not easy okay I read the article three four five times I made four or five videos and I still didn't quite understand the Blurbusters law so you don't have to understand the Blurbusters law all you have to do is just open this UFO test change the speed of the test until you can see the alien pupils that's it <laughs> it's that simple of course you can do more than that but if you just do that you can include that information on the review and you're just gonna be ahead ahead of the competition I don't see any reviews with that information I'm, I'm gonna subscribe to your channel so I can know how good is the motion clarity for example I am interested to know right now this new TCL uh, TV QM8 is supposed to in improve the motion clarity in 4x so at 120 Hertz it's supposed to look like 480 that needs to be tested is that true I want to know and unfortunately I'm afraid I'm not going to get that information unless I buy the TV and I test it myself <laughs> okay so that is unfortunately oh, unfortunate so yeah let me know if you have uh, any questions and I will do my best to explain you I am NOT an expert I am an enthusiast I I did have the blessing of <laughs> the Blurbusters chief explaining me uh, you know what the Blurbusters law was and answering all my questions so I did have that opportunity so I, I understand it now I feel that I understand it very well now so if you have any questions let me know and I will do my best to make it clear for you okay so let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions